Uh, my next guest is a very funny performer who can be seen in a major motion picture called The Whoopie Boys. Please welcome Sandra Bernhardt. Nice to see you. How you doing? Yeah! The always popular standing A. Nice I don't to have see to be rich to be your girl, and you don't have to be cool to rule my world. Oh, thank you. All I want is your extra time. And, uh. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Very kind. Thank you. Now, uh. What, now, what are you doing there? What, now, what is this? is a song, isn't it? What is that song? Prince! Yeah. You, you, you always know. <laughs> You always know a, a lot about the contemporary music, don't you? Don't I? I'm always on top of it. You're avant-garde, aren't you? Different. Yeah. Kooky. Yeah. Downright weird. Yeah. How have you been lately? I've been terrific. How, how is your record, speaking of music? I know... Super, as always. Yeah. Now, uh... Climbing the... Climbing the charts. Now, what... what oh. <laughs> begging to come off the charts. What was the... Uh, what was the name of the, the song that was... Uh, oh, which one? Everybody's Young? Everybody's Young. The hit single, yeah. Everybody's Young. Yeah, heard. the hit yeah. single. Yeah. I'm, I'm suing my, my ex-record label right now for that. Did you have trouble with the record company? They were very mean. You know how they can be. Well, I know... I know in all of show business, the lowest of the low... The lowest of the low... ...are record but, executives. Shh, I'm looking for another record label, so don't... Oh, I'm sure those guys will be completely different. Won't they? Uh, I can tell them. No, no, tell me, no, but people want to know what was the problem with the record company? What What was the thing that well, really they, upset you? Well, know, they didn't get behind me, Dave, you know? They didn't promote the record. They just didn't, you know, put it out there on yeah. the charts. They didn't, you know, pay all the whole thing, man. Yeah. <laughs> they that, just didn't get behind it, yeah. man. Yeah. So, and what have you been doing since? This film, what is Whoopie Boys? Whoopie Boys. It's a fun little... Walter Matthau. Well, uh, yeah, George Walter Burns. Matthew, George, everybody. No, everybody no, imaginable. They're, they're not in it. Aren't they? <laughs> I thought they were. Who, who's in? <laughs> who's, who's, you, fool me. you know what? They will be by the time this show is over. Now, I'm going to see to it. Now, who's in the Whoopi Boys? Tell us all Paul about Paul Rodriguez it. and um, Michael O'Keefe. Very funny young man, Michael O'Keefe from, uh, he was in uh, Great Santini. Breakfast Club. <laughs> no, that's the Brat Pack, oh, Dave. Yeah. So what's that's the movie about? pretty pink. What's the movie about? What's the movie about? What's the movie what about? What is the movie about? Help me, I don't know. Please don't pressure me tonight. <laughs> Mr. Newsweek, Mr. Famous. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> He's such a big shot now. And let me tell you something. Does he ever mention my name in those, any of those interviews as being one of the most exciting, scintillating, Sophisticated guest, you know, the Chardé of the comedy world, you ever? You know, I... I, I always put your hair, is, hair is falling into my mouth whenever I get in front of you, and well, you it totally have, humiliates me. You should have a me. comb out. I'd you know something? I'll tell you what I've been doing. Cleaning my house, doing a lot of cleaning, Dave. You know how I like to clean. And nothing helps me more than the Diane von Furstenberg <laughs> paper towel. <laughs> Dave, I asked you the question. Who knows more about kitchen cleanup than Diane von Furstenberg? Diane von Furstenberg, yeah. You yeah. know, there have been nights when Andy Warhol and Liza Mel have called and begged her to go out dancing. She says, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm much too busy working on my new three-ply, triple-absorbent <laughs> paper towel. I won't be going... Anywhere yeah, yeah. tonight. <laughs> Diane. Let me see that. Is Isn't that, that fabulous? At Gelson's Market in LA. Where else? Good. And Lord. you know why these, I do this? Because I knew when you for? found this, my bit would be ruined. So I came out to let no, everybody that's know. Very funny. How much do these go for? What about 109? Good, it's about good. nine cents above the rate. Look, you can't we're gonna, spend it. We're enough. gonna do a commercial here. Already have. No, you have plenty more time. Don't hey, worry. I'm, now, don't so, hurt anybody. Somebody special in the audience. Come on, baby. What the hell? Are you here? For heaven's sakes, here. Give me the, give me the damn thing. Come on. Hey! Woo! All right, there you go. Hold it. Here. Why don't you, why don't you pick right. this up there? We have a drum roll there, Stephen. Nice shot. We'll, uh, we'll be, we'll be back with Sandra Bernhardt.
taste them or not? They got to be some them. kind of uh, meatballs. Yeah, those are some meatballs. Yeah, yeah that's what they those are. Those are kosher they? meatballs. The whole thing is delicious. Here we have pictures of you. Uh, uh, you know, Raquel Welch was just out here and she did a little Elvis Presley. What did I see, Raquel? <laughs> Well, she did a little Elvis Presley, and she does it in interactive. Here you are Doing a in, in, what is this? Chata. Mademoiselle. Yeah, that was, August that was a few months That's ago. A while back. You know, when I Mick first Jagger. saw this idea, I didn't think anybody else would do it, and I'm very upset that I'm and not, you a, are not original anymore. Tina Turner. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're I'm not shy. And not shy at all. Madonna. 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 Black Virgin. And of course, Prince. Yeah. It's good. Maybe I'm much too. You got to slow down. Have you, uh, have you, uh, have you, uh, all right, Sandra, Sandra. <laughs> I'm so wound up tonight. Yeah. I'm back in New York Fantastic. and I'm taking the town by storm. Yeah. I'll be at the Ritz March 1st and you better come this now, time. Now, what are you going to do at the Ritz? I'm doing my new show. I put a whole new show together. What kind of stuff? How long are you on? It's got everything. Baby, music, excitement, comedy, juggling, mime. Oh. <laughs> a mime is a terrible <clears throat> thing to waste. Yeah. Have you, uh... Boom, boom, Vegas! Yeah! <laughs> Do it! Uh, behavior, you're gonna have to stay late. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, uh... An extra night at my hotel. Oh, on yeah. the David Letterman show. I would love it. Oh, yeah, do it. I saw, Try and run up a bill. I saw... Try and run up a bill I on I saw NBC. the best new film you have to catch. What did you see? new Chuck Norris. Oh, uh, Lee uh, Marvin. Lee Marvin was here talking about it. Shelley Winters and Hannah Shagula as the angry stewardess. <laughs> in Delta Force. Delta Force. You know... Right, we'll look for that. When's the last time we saw Chuck Norris and Hannah Shagula team well, up? Well, hardly... I was not enough away. for my money. we yeah. got to do a commercial, and then we'll be back here okay. more with this Sandra Bernhardt. <laughs> I want to mention something. Uh, uh, Senior Wences was supposed to be here with us tonight, but he's not going to be on the show. He has a... I'm sorry. He will be back as soon as he returns from touring with the uh, Sugar Babies. And, as, and this and, is the best time as as I've ever had on your show. Now, you're taking up Senior Wences' time now. And uh, he'll be back uh, after Sugar Babies. He also has a sore hand, so it wouldn't have worked anyway. <laughs> only a joke but my apologies to him tomorrow night ladies and gentlemen another oh. keen show george miller lynette woodard and uh, terry gar thank Yay! you very much good night It's Elise, uh, Elise Beasley. Is that correct? Not Alice Beasley, right? That's what our friend Bridget was in here telling us. Elise, okay. Uh, aside from being an actress and a comedian, my next guest is now claiming to be a fashion expert, and she'll be appearing in the August issue of Elle magazine. It's always a pleasure to welcome back to this program, Sandra Bernhardt. Just have a seat. Grace, you're so <laughs> feminine and soft. How you doing? Grace Jones, lift me above your head again, Grace. <laughs> Why does Grace always stand like this on all her album covers? Half naked, with her very tight ebony booty. That's what I want to know, Grace. You, you have really put on some weight. Haven't I? <laughs> About 30 pounds since the last time. God, yeah. you're, uh, you're a rail. I'm amazingly thin. I'm yeah. Amazingly is, is that the, and strong, Is baby. that the weight you're comfortable uh, with? That's my fighting weight. Right how, how tall are you? 5'10". How tall are you? 6'2". How much do you weigh? 175. I have the strength really? of 10 men. Thank you. <laughs> well, we know that, Dave. <laughs> uh, but no. <laughs> Did uh, you get your teeth caps? No, I haven't had them capped. These look capped to you? 
Um, <laughs> to me, yes, they do. No, you have nice looking teeth. You think I'm, you know, I'm thinking of getting braces. Are you really? Look at that. No, they don't get braces. What do you think? Can no. you braces? No, don't get braces because... I'm taking a poll. It's, uh, it's up to you tonight. Should I get braces? <laughs> do it. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, why, why would you want to have braces? Because I want to be like, you know, a leading lady. I want to be like Kelly McGillis or, you know. Yeah, but the, these, these teeth... Uh, These teeth make uh, me a fortune. What am I complaining about? I'm beautiful the way now how I do am. They, exactly how do they make I love me just the way I am, Terry. <laughs> Somebody's got to go out there and be themselves, you know, because I know you do it for the guys, and I want to do it for the gals. Uh, <laughs> all right, fine. <laughs> it's kind of a, a unisex thing yeah. with you and me. You know so you're gonna the take... unusual and the odd cling to us. They depend on us to be individuals. <sighs> We come to each other. Yeah, that's right. We come to... Notice that you have some of the shaggiest eyebrows in the business, David. When are you going to trim those up? Oh, I'm sorry. Like, come on, little Paris. Should they be trimmed? Shears next to them. Some garden shears might do the trick. <laughs> Sharpen them up real good. Yeah. You look yeah. cute, though. You've been out well, in the sun, haven't you? Yeah. I'm yeah. looking awfully good. How was fourth for you? I had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> I, had a, I avoided New York, and I know you did. I had uh, business in California. Oh, business. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Lazy butt on the beach. No, the no, I had uh, I had family visiting and we had a very oh, nice did time. You? Yeah, the, the kids out. The now, game now, what did you do for the fourth? Um, I was up uh, on the coast, it's the alternative city, Seattle, hurting <laughs> with all the greats, hurting <laughs> with heart with Ann and Nancy Wilson, my new old best friend. Uh huh. Do you have? Uh, you have... You know what kills me about celebrities? Have you noticed this? That they, the minute you meet them, they invite you to spend the night at their house. That's right. They're very uh, said, outgoing. What makes them think that I wouldn't like sneak in the moonlight and? and Murder them brutally. Yeah, I mean, you know, just I'm a celebrity, you can trust me. Yeah. Would you have me spend the night? No. I know, you never have. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like. Oh, over stop, and go. stop, stop. And what about, tell me, what about the new sodomy laws? That puts an end to our whole, that puts an end to our whole thing, Dave. Oh, I'll tell you Sandra. something. Our relationship Sandra. is over. Oh, my. I feel like hell about it. <laughs> Give me some Tabasco in that Bloody Mary. Yeah. Uh, so what else have you been doing? Yeah. What's, what else is new? You've been... Uh, uh... <laughs> what else could be new? New. And me. Woo! You know, you slip with those words. Um... Yeah. What are we... Where? Hello? Yeah. How are you doing? What, are, what have you prepared to talk about tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not a damn thing. Okay. Well, thank Boring you so much for dropping always. by. as uh, always. Eric Burden, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're going to do something together. You know what? I've been exercising a lot, and I know you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been exercising a lot, huh? You no, know, because the other day... Have I you, in mirror. your life, have you ever broken a sweat? You. Me? Yeah. I'm breaking one right now. Yeah. Let me tell you, it's All funky. Right. Since I was on with Raquel Welch, uh -huh. you remember that last time? Yeah, year. I do. I went home, I looked in the mirror, and I looked at my big, lazy, fat, Jewish... And I said, you better get it together, honey. Because uh -huh. you're looking at one big, fat booty. No panty line tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-uh, not tonight. Um. Can you believe that? You would never know. Oh, it's so smooth. Uh -huh. Like a Barbie doll. And, uh... <laughs> you know what? The hell? Bring those trim tracks What the hell is I the I want to get you on a trim track. You know the trim tracks? Come on. Come out here with me. Come here. I want you to see. Let me just... You've seen them. Come on. Get on the trim track with me. This is how I've been working out. On, I build up a sweat. Three and a half minutes. Come on. Okay? Don't make me come over there and hurt you. <laughs> Pretend. Come here. Pretend you're Sean Penn and slap me around. <laughs> It is the exercise you get on this trim track. Watch oh, this it. is oh, stupid. This I'm is. I'm exhausted. Building up a sweat. All right. Oh. All right. Play some music. No, about... wait a minute. Hold it. No, oh, oh, no, 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 not walk. yet. No, not yet. I tell you what. We'll go down the hill once, then back to the lodge for some cocoa. Oh. <laughs> and that's it. Oh. Look at our sweat, ladies and gentlemen. Look at those arms pump up. Ooh. Me, did someone She's sanction this? Did, so, did someone know about this beforehand? Yeah. Uh, go Let's ahead. You go. Go. No, I'm not going to do anything. Don't. No, I'm, I'll just be over here. Oh. 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 Once 
once again, they're chanting, Dave, Dave. Um, well, I'm finally the sex kitten I always wanted well, to be. Well, Sandra, as, uh, as always... Zippy all right? Seems a little tired. Is he a little fatigued? Yeah. How, how much uh, sleep does Zippy get, by the way? 10 to 12 hours a day? And, and how much sleep do you get? About eight hours. Yeah. So you have to get up and cook for Zippy? Uh, does Zippy live with you guys? Is that, is that all right? Really? Does he just ruin the place? Yeah. Not all the time. All right. Well, Zippy, Zippy is here with us tonight, and we, we couldn't be happier. Um, <laughs> I'm sure that my next guest is uh, thrilled about following, following a hyperactive ape. Now, you've taken the skates off him, right? So he's all right up there? Yeah. Do you have ropes in your house? Yeah. And, and, and do you have bush pigs in the backyard for him? <laughs> Which market in town has the best value on bush pigs? These... Zippy, all right, here. Have, have a little water there. Just take a nice little drink of water. There you go. Uh, I'm sure that my next guest is thrilled about following a hyperactive ape, but uh, believe me, she is one of the few people that... He certainly has a light touch on his feet, doesn't he? <laughs> hey, Zip, how you doing, buddy? Uh, anyway, uh, this woman, uh, Sandra Bernhardt, will be in uh, Chicago Friday night at the Park West. You ever stayed at the Park West, Zip? What do you, what do you think of the Park West? Huh? Oh, never mind. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome actress and comedian Sandra Bernhardt. Sandra! <laughs> Nice to see you. Oh, here, by the way, we had some water for you, son. <laughs> How you doing? I'm mad about you, Jimmy. Nice to see I'm you. Mad about you. Have you ever have you ever worked with a, a chimpanzee before? No, he just knocked me in the head. Though, he's a great looking animal. Mini cam. He's a very nice animal. Yeah, uh, we're really happy he's here. Yeah. <laughs> what was what was the song that we heard you coming up with? Was mad about you. Yeah, you know, you know that's the Belinda Carlisle song, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. is. You know all about music, don't you? Music and everything. Fashion? Yeah. You name it, I know it, yeah. David. Yeah. Especially about you. Where'd you get this tie? Uh, it was just uh, supplied to me the NBC wardrobe uh, <laughs> the warehouse. We go out there once a week and pick out ties. It is amazing, yeah. isn't it? So now you're uh, you're you're also uh, you're a fashion consultant. Yeah, I'm everything, David. You know that. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about music first. Okay, then. so let's talk about whatever let's you want to talk about. Let's talk about whatever we want to talk sure. about. Music the is fine. monkey is yeah. swinging in the yeah. background. Yeah. Uh, I've noticed a remarkable similarity between two songs that I want to bring out tonight. Sure. Papa Don't Preach don't and Sam Harris's Sugar Don't Bite. Sugar Don't Bite. I'm not familiar Play with those that. those two, would you? <laughs> That's Papa Don't Preach. Papa Don't Preach. Yeah. Play Sugar Don't Bite. Is that amazing? Really? I don't know. That... Now I'm beginning to wonder whether it's Papa Don't Bite or Sugar Don't Preach yeah. or My Sugar Walls Don't Bite. Now, what is it? That's the real question here. But you know, seriously. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not getting enough sleep. I thought I saw a monkey on a skateboard. <laughs> 
This is too bizarre. It is a little strange. But Madonna song kills me though, because <laughs> <guess, laughs> it's a really bad influence on monkeys. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. No, it kills me that Papa don't preach because she's <laughs> not. A... It's all right. Just it's just part of the equipment. He's it one is. of the cameramen here tonight. <laughs> Surfs up. Yeah. So the Madonna, Papa Don't Preach is yeah. what? Yeah, right. So anyways, where were we? Oh, yeah, Papa Don't Preach. Who cares? <laughs> no, no, no. Now, don't be... Don't... <laughs> no, but it's... tell me about your sad. house. You just bought a house. We like st- that's just like taking one step at a time. You know, I give Madonna a hard time. I really do. Mm. Because the song bothers me. Not only is she telling teenage kids to have children, but she's also misleading them to think that they're going to maintain their youthful figures, uh, which is like so bizarre. Right. But anyways, I do love Madonna. We are, matter of fact, we were hanging out in New York last night, and we just happened to be on Fifth Avenue. You and Madonna. And yeah, and we were just had this picture snapped of us. Can we get, can we get off the little monkey for Oh, this is, this is, uh, Check this Thunder Bernhardt and, uh, Madonna. And Madonna. Can wow. we get a close-up on this picture? That's pretty exciting. But if you notice, here's President Reagan in the background. He happened to be in town, <laughs> and he was so excited, he jumped out of his limo and wanted to be in the picture, and it was oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. See, that's the lovely thing about New York. You just don't you know when you're... You never know. Yeah, it's so yeah. spontaneous. Well, I'm sure this will be a and keepsake so, in your home for many years. It will be. Yeah. Next to, uh... That monkey after I have it stuffed. No, no. <laughs> oh, boo, boo, boo. Have you have you tried monkey helper? <laughs> sure, darn good, isn't it? Uh, you just come here, like sit down at least. And be well, he's uh, and he's uh, he's uh, I think he's a little excited. Yeah, that was from ABC. You weren't lying. Look, they even have the ABC dish. No, it right is. There. It, we, NBC it's wouldn't, unbelievable. wouldn't let us use the equipment. Uh, you want to talk about your house now? What do you want to talk about now? I want to talk about the fact that. Holiday House Spa just took away my membership. All right, because now the last... I am really depressed. The last time you were here, we, you were telling us all about your exercise, uh, exercise regimen. That's right. Regimen. Well, I had a little problem. I went in there about a year ago with a friend of mine, and... It's I, a big, glamorous workout kind of place? Well, it's the kind of place where the girls who, like, train you wear high heels and belts and a lot of, like, brown, streaky makeup. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're lovely girls. Mm-hmm. And, um... So I didn't have my driver's license with me this one time I went in and she started, she took my card away and said, you have to have your driver's license. And she went and called me into the headquarters and I went and I grabbed my card back and, and next thing I know, they've canceled my membership and I'm really furious about it. Why, why I think you... it's very unfair. I'll tell you why, because I joined 11 years ago uh-huh. on the special deal. It's only $35 a year. A charter member, probably. A, tra- a lifetime yeah. membership. And it, well, why do you need your driver's license to go in there? Because and, uh, what you, have kind of a... to, you have to have a picture ID so oh, they I know see. you're not borrowing the uh-huh. card from somebody. Right, yeah. But I'm a little bit bummed out about it. So now they've canceled your membership. Yeah. yeah. And I'm. Legal know, action? Can we anticipate legal? A lot of it. Yeah, you seem like you're probably. Uh... I'm ready to take it to court. Yeah. Well, good luck I've to you. Call my lawyer. You know, you have my support in this. Yeah, well, I'm bringing you in as a witness. Good. I'll, be, minute, so, I'll yeah. be happy to do that. Flying well, you out. We, ha- we have to uh, do a commercial here. Do we? Oh, well, right. oh, no, I have to do this first. You know, Light and Thirsty, a new revolutionary new mop from O-Cedar. No, don't tell me you have to start It's doing super this. absorbent and super tough. Wait a minute, I have one right here. Oh, Zippy, we have a little something for you. <laughs> Zippy is the new mop from O-Cedar. It's light and thirsty. <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, to the emergency ward. <laughs> you all right? You bet. He just gave the you a little. Crap. No, he just he gave you a little me. kiss. Zippy yeah. just gave you a little kiss. And then the guy comes out and tell me, tells me it's his toy. You can't grab toys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go buy a toy in a minute. Well, no. Well, the important thing, Sandra, is are you all right? I don't know. I don't really know. Did I'm he did, upset. did he put his teeth on you? He doesn't have teeth, well, but see? he has these unbelievable gums. <laughs> I've ever felt on my finger. Um, so now that's going to sound pretty silly in court when you're describing your incident with monkey gums, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm going from one court to another to get my um, membership back from well, Let me see your hand. Home. Did he what? break the skin? He no, didn't... he didn't break the skin, but if he did, I'm going to bite his head off. No, it's, it's a little red there. but he... No, he really hurt me. That was scary. Yeah. If he broke the skin, we'd have to give him well, a tetanus he... shot. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. I'm only, I'm only joking. 
Right now, I know and are. this is no time. It's a to make bad fun time for you, isn't it? Well, right now it is. Yeah. After this monkey experience, <laughs> <laughs> after this monkey shine. Yeah. Now, uh, tell me about your new house. Let's try and get on uh, to more yeah, uh, pleasant I, I, matters. I, I, happier notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just bought a new house. I'm in. Where did you I'm, buy I'm the house? Escrow. Where did Where did you in buy the that? valley? In Los Angeles, San, yeah, no. San Fernando Valley. Yeah, no, in the San Bernardino area. <laughs> I like the smog out there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, like the valley's not smoggy. No, uh, the valley isn't smoggy. I dig the valley. Right. The what? coolest people came from the valley. Jen Jett came from the valley. Well, that's why. All the runaways came from the valley. They lived it up their way. They tore up the valley mm -hmm. in blue eyeshadow and shag haircuts and platform tennis shoes. And, and that caused real estate values and to skyrocket. And underage bars like the sugar shack. <laughs> they got nasty on quaaludes. It's when David Bowie was sexually ambiguous, and we liked it that way, David. I, I think this monkey episode almost, is almost as sexually ambiguous as you are. No, now see, you don't, you don't want to say. I'm only kidding. You're delirious. You're in shock. I am in shock. You're in shock. You, you have maybe a slight touch of brain fever from the monkey. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, is it a nice home? Yeah, it's adorable. Nice. Spanish. Big, big sprawling. Uh... Yeah, it's 15 bedrooms. <laughs> Three of them have your name on yeah, it. Stop it. Uh, and and uh, big, big elaborate grounds. Uh, yes. Lovely manicured uh, yard and so Three much. English gardens. Yeah, well, that's pretty impressive. It's very impressive. Yeah. And what we else are you working on now? What else am I working on? I don't know. Not too much right now. I'm bored with my entire career. Well, now you have a, you have a great no. story to tell people now. Yeah, really. And I'll come back on David Letterman's show and tell it next time I'm on. <laughs> no, I'm going to go on the road and tell the show wherever I am. That's good. No, I've been on the road. I've, like, become a woman of rock and roll. Yeah. I was hanging out with the uh, butthole surfers in Texas. I don't know if you're familiar with them. You should have them Can on. Can we get they're the monkey very, back, they're please? They're very cool. <laughs> Can we have Zippy come back, please? Yeah, uh, I'm going to have Zippy come out and bite you. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Anything? Oh, Friday night, if your hand heals up in time. Yeah, really. Yeah. Now, the next time we see you in that, it have a huge cast. You'll be in a cast from your fingers yeah. all the way up to your shoulder. You'll have, a, no, you'll have an attorney with you. I wouldn't bother with it. Uh, okay. She'll be appearing in Chicago next Friday night at the Park West. Fancy place? Fancy schmancy. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. It'll be a beautiful scene. The lovely and the talented. I'm excited about it. Sandra Bernhardt. Sandra, nice to see you. I know okay. you we'll, uh, we'll be right back. Uh, Hernandez was across the hall uh, on Live at 5, but he left by now, so uh, Lenny will be out here later, and we'll talk to him. Should be a good game tonight, though. I have, I have tickets for Game 8. <laughs> uh, our next guest is an actress, comedian, fashion authority, and can be seen hosting the 1986 New Music Awards on November 10th on the USA Network. As always, it's a pleasure to welcome the lovely, the talented, the gifted, Sandra Bernhardt. <laughs> No, I'll no, no, no. Now, this is not true. Now, <laughs> oh, that's yes, a joke. It is. Well, it had nothing to do with the monkey. Yes, yeah, the monkey bit my finger off. No, he didn't bite your finger off. The <laughs> and you know what? The Cedars paid for my hospital stay. I just want you to know that. But I've gotten so into wild animals since I've been on this well, show. Well, explain to people what happened. We had a monkey on the program. Yeah, they had the monkey with the monkey cam. And you were taunting Zippy, it. The mon oh, by the way, his agent called me. They want me to do a three picture deal with yeah, Zippy. Right. I'm serious. You, you were taunting the monkey. I was. I was taunting, yeah, I was taunting the monkey. He was back and forth on a skateboard. I was sitting here. You were taunting the monkey. And you gave him a broom. I gave the monkey a mop. A mop. You, you, you were right. trying and to he get... he came over. Yeah. But you grabbed the mop from I the know. monkey, and it he bit you. It was all my fault. I it was your bad. fault. Now, th but that's a joke. We didn't really lose a finger, yeah, did we? No, we did. No, we didn't. But you know what? No, what? I started getting really into wild animals. Oh, good. Thanks to that. And I yeah. got some tea. Oh, don't. Woo! 
snake. Come on, kiss the snake, Dave. Stop, kiss. Stop. Let me see that. Let me see that. Yeah. Let me see that. Let... Oh. It's my snake. Yeah, Whee! that's that's entertainment. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, that Paul. Oh, Paul. Hey. <laughs> Let me buy my snake. <laughs> <laughs> Someone help him! <laughs> the hijinks. Yeah, hijinks nonstop. The you know what I love is you and Shelly Long together. Let's go on, on to the another Emmy. topic. Woo! Let's see if we... Uh, that was some hot stuff. Now listen... What, blowing my mind what, and turning me on with Shelly Long. <laughs> solid, solid as a rock. The Trilogy of Terror, Shelley Long, Drew Barrymore, and David Letterman. <laughs> what a perfect couple. You know... The irreconcilable differences starring David Letterman and Shelley Long. It was... It was just another gig. I had a free weekend. And... That's my next fantasy trip. Uh, Ooh, Shelley. <laughs> what a hot lady. What a bright lady. And what a great guy. Um, all right, now, where were we? Uh, well, who cares where we were? We're right here. We're in the present. We're now, what's staying in the moment, and we're working. Now, in now what's new in, uh, in your career? What's, what's new? New, new, new projects, course. film, yes, television? Yes, 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 absolutely. As always, I'm doing the um, situation comedy Blue Velvet. That is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I run around naked and do kooky things. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is something by Azadine Alaya that I know you'd appreciate. I'm sorry, a little something what? By Azadine Alaya. Oh, that's what you're wearing. That's what I'm... Is that what you're saying? Exactly. See, now I'm not familiar with that name. Well, now you are. Yeah. And this, this is a, a piece of her work here? No, it's a man. A man, I'm sorry. Azadine. A woman would never... What, what a is woman the... would never design a dress like this for another woman. What, what is the... But we'll get into fashion later. Come on, let's get right back to where we started from. Where, the, where did right we start back exactly? Where we started from. What? I gotta get right back to where we started from. Love is good. Love can be strong. I gotta get right back to where we started from. Started from. Yeah! Toys, no joke. props, nothing for you tonight. You're with me, baby, and you're home safe. <laughs> have you checked? Have you checked this kid out yet? Dweezil Zappa. Dweezil Frank Zappa. Having son. a bad day, and my heart goes out to him because he's such an ugly kid, isn't he? <laughs> can you can you write this? Having a bad. When has this kid ever had a bad day? Now you've had some bad days, Dave. I buy that. Having one aren't now. You set, aren't you <laughs> Having a real bad one now. I know. But didn't you say you had a stomach flu? Oh, I have a terrible stomach flu. You are sick when any human being. Oh, I know. You have colds. The colds. I'm worried about yeah, you. Well, you need thank some you very much. Herbal remedies. Yeah. Or perhaps you need to get into Zen Master Rama. <laughs> are you familiar with him? I think you should get hip to Zen Master Rama. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've seen these ads. Do you realize that he is... Intensive seminars <laughs> in tantric zem, zen. Tantric zen, not zen. Zem. With zen. the zen master Rama. But you know that he is Richard Simmons' cousin? I didn't know that. He is. <laughs> Did the hair give it away? Ooh. <laughs> I want to study zen with zen master Rama. Uh -huh. And have my hair done by the same person. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, do you know that Joan Collins has her own video collection No, now? I didn't know that. She chooses her favorite classic films and critiques them. Just, not only is Robert De Niro very sexy, but he's a fantastic actor as well. Mm -hmm. Which I think is really accurate, you know? Yeah. Uh, is this true? Does she actually have Yes! If you, you go to video, go to video, video store, it you... says the Joan Collins video collection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's an angry, bitter collection. <laughs> and, and but very sexy and entertaining. But why do we care what she thinks of uh, certain motion pictures? Well, that's the whole point. That's yeah. what I'm here to discuss with you. I know you care. No, I don't. Because you're always care. bringing her name up. Yeah, I know. But you're you, obsessed with well, her. Well, you know, only because she's, she snubbed us years ago. No. Yeah, did she, she did, really? Yeah, I'll yeah. talk to Joan. Yeah, straighten this out, will you? We have lunch at Helena's. <laughs> have you been to Helena's, Los Angeles? I don't even Angeles? know where it is. It's somewhere in it's the, the Eagle Rock or something? It's the new Chic Club. You know that I'm totally banned from there? Well, what is the place? <laughs> it is a 
just like real, like where everybody goes, you know. Now who's oh, like who's everybody? People. Is uh, it an after hours Eric club? Roberts and you know uh, De Niro, they all go there. Yeah. So is I it, is it a night. restaurant? Let me tell you the story. It's a restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's a disco. Prince, Madonna, they're all there. They're I go all there. there one and night. And your band? I went there one night, mm -hmm. and there was something something to do with your behavior. Smell in the place, and they accused me of stink bombing. <laughs> And Helena, who's a Greek woman, a very angry Greek woman, asked me to sit before a tribunal of actors from New York and defend myself. <laughs> <laughs> Which, of course, I did, and I was very nervous, and I passed the test. And so you're, now you're back in. I'm in back in. No, I'm not. They won't let me in. Now, did somebody actually stink bomb the place? I don't know, Dave. Would I do something like that? Would I stink bomb a fabulous, fantastic happening Discotheque in Los Angeles, I ask you. Is it, is it just me? Is Helena, it, I love you. Is it just me, or do these stories don't seem to have an ending? Is it, <laughs> I don't, they don't need an ending. Yeah. Life keeps going on, and it's more beautiful than the ever. The Hindu wheel of life. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Zen Master Rama, Shelley Long. It all connects somewhere in the universe. Paul, Paul, get the snake ready. No, you know what, though? I want to show something quick before I go, because I know I'm going to have to get out of here in a minute, because the baseball kids are coming, who are adorable. <laughs> it's not the baseball kids. Yeah, they're fantastic. They are, Lenny they are to me. Lenny Dykstra. Oof. He's hot. I sat on his lap out there, and he was naked, and it was fantastic. Um, I want to show you a he quick clip. He's also probably unconscious. <laughs> We have to go. That's you and Shelly, Mom. No, not no, me. we have to go. And Sandra, oh, no. I'm so glad I'm still here. I'm sorry to hear about you. Your... <laughs> Okay, it's kind of like our end of the year clearance sale. Everything must go. Uh, our next guest is a uh, very funny woman who stops by every few months, and it's always a pleasure to welcome her to this show. She can be seen tomorrow night at the Paradise in Boston. Please say hello to Sandra Bernhardt. Nobody knows. How are you? Oh, nice to fantastic. see you. Fantastic. Oh. You know, how long have Decked we... out in winter white. How long have we uh, known one another? A long time, don't you think? Hell of a long time. But you know, it occurred to me this afternoon that I really don't know much about you personally, I No, guess. you don't. Is, is there... Uh, are there, are there uh, men in your life that you'd like to tell us about? Do you, do you have... Uh, uh... Well, you know, Dave, I was like... Is that okay to was, ask you that? Yeah, it is yeah. okay. It is okay. Because I like it when you get personal with me. Thank you. You know that. Thank you. Um... I was always into younger guys, you know, around your age, as you know. And um, <laughs> there was an article that came out recently in a, in a magazine that got me started on men over 60. Men over 60. This is America's 10 sexiest men over 60. Mm -hmm. I won't name all of them. That? I don't even remember, but some of the sexy men were John Houston, who I think is hot. Um, <laughs> Lee Iacocca. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But here's a guy. It's a funny story. Last time I was in town, I called some girlfriends. I said, I'm desperate. I have no one to go out with. Will you please set me up with somebody? Mm -hmm. They said, well, I don't know if we can pull it off, but would you like to go out with Isaac Bashiva Singer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he's on the list. He's there. on the list. Yeah, yeah. I said, well, <laughs> yeah, I would. Well, we went on a date that uh -huh. was, first place, he picks me up. He didn't like what I was wearing. He took me to Comme de Garçon. He picked me out a very man tailored suit. He says, I like my women butch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who am I to question yeah, I Isaac? Don't, I don't know. We went out for a fantastic dinner. All night long, he's whispering sexy, sweet things in my ear in Yiddish. It was mm -hmm. such a turn on. <laughs> and he kept going to the bathroom and coming back. I said, Isaac, wipe your nose, for God's sake, in the public place. Uh, then we go to the Palladium. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stop. No. It doesn't. Yeah. 
friend. Yeah. He's trying to fix you up with a three-way with him and this chick. No, chip. stop. And stop. I no, no. Uh, uh, Isaac, I said I want to uh, be alone with you tonight. Mm -hmm. Get back to his apartment at 4 a.m. He puts on a pair of handcuffs, starts slapping me around. No, Sandra, oh, so. no, please, please, please. <laughs> But if, if he'd gone out with the Lee Iacocca, he, he might, I might have <laughs> he wanted to... He might have to... run me over. No, no. Oh. He might have wanted to work on your car. I wish he would. Yeah, change your plugs or something. Hey, baby. Uh, now, can you imagine that there would be... Now, see, this is, this is a prime example of a sexist Sexism. society because... Logically we speaking, we don't think of women over 60 right. as being Would sexy, there be but I do. Yes, we have some. A list of the ten se sexiest women You're over 60. You're right. Mother Teresa, <laughs> Barbara Stanwyck, Grace Jones' mother is very sexy. I don't know if you. <laughs> That's Mother Jones, Sally isn't it? Sally Kellerman. Oops, no, she's not. What, what's Sally right Kellerman. <laughs> Uh, put my name on that list. Yeah. You look great. You look Thank uh, that's you. a very a very fetching uh, Well, after little coming number. out after Linda Gray, I'll tell you. Yeah. I summoned up all my ego what? and courage and I came out here and I said, "Well, Well, it worked." It I pulled it off. You, you didn't get a chance to towel off your hair, but that's all right. <laughs> uh, Woo! Uh, do, you, do you like uh, the, the holiday times? Do, do you enjoy I Christmas? love it? Yeah, in New York it's crazy, isn't it? Isn't it wild? Yeah. And fun. I got um we're going to exchange gifts with some fun people this year, you and me. Oh, good. Let's pick a name out. Hmm. Let's see, for you, you're going to exchange gifts with Shelley Long. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Who did I get? Stevie Nicks. I already bought her a beautiful shawl. I'm very uh. excited about it. How about you, honey? Let's see, who did you get? Joan Collins. <laughs> So anyways, <laughs> well, you have a little, I, a little you know, bit of everything thing tonight, I love don't about you? LA. You have props, you, you have magazines. Need, you don't need a lot of. Well, I like to do that for you. You don't need a lot of money to buy Christmas presents. We need, living in LA, in LA because right. there's always a terrific garage sale. And I picked up a couple things for you and me to take to some friends. Something you don't see in the store anymore. A nice. Corningware coffee pot. Is that a beautiful that item? Nice. What'd you pay for that? I paid two bucks for that. Yeah. And it has the, the basket here. And the grounds in there. For the lady in your life who likes jewelry, a lovely jewelry tray. <laughs> <laughs> Bewitching, oh, isn't God. it? <laughs> this, is, uh, this, this is actually, this is solid paper mache, by the way. This isn't is, it? That is the... Now... <laughs> I don't like violence on television. Let's, uh, I love it. What about uh, movies? Uh, holiday? Movies. You been to see any of the new uh, blockbuster releases for the holiday? The hell with the movies. You know what? I haven't heard one thing about Hanukkah since we've been out here, and I am. You know. <laughs> it's like working with Pee Wee Herman. Uh, it's like having Gallagher out here. Do you have, do you have any movies down there, Sledge Sandra? Sledge-o-matic. No, I felt bad because you know I'm a I'm a Jewish girl, uh -huh. and. I just wanted to, like, represent my own religion well, here at this time right. of year. Sure, that's only fair. It is only uh -huh. fair. And I would do the prayer on it if you'd ask me, but... Well, we have a minute here. No, we don't have time for it. Okay. Then. Anyways, back to, uh... Um... Now, I'm waiting for you. Do you have more props? Do you have, like, a dummy? <laughs> do you have, uh... <laughs> only you. No, only Kenny. Um... Yes, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Very nice. Nerd. Very nerd. nice. Very nice. What the hell is? I want to get real for a minute. I don't, I don't see you on the Joan Rivers show. It's... You know what? And you won't. Listen to me. Hold what? my hand a minute. Yeah. Because you know what? It's the end of the year. We and you guys seconds. have been fantastic to yeah. me. Uh, by the, the way, how's, have how's been that wonderful. monkey wound? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what we're doing. We have a two-picture deal. Uh -huh. But anyways, <laughs> I, from the bottom of my heart, want to thank you for the past year. You oh, guys have been heart. fantastic. Thank you very much. And I adore you. Oh, and I'm looking you. forward to seeing you in 1987. Thank you.
Uh, our next guest is one of the few performers who can gracefully follow an animal act. She is an actress, a comedian, and a regular visitor to this program. She can be seen in person tomorrow night at my father's place in Roslyn, Long Island. Please welcome Sandra Bernhardt. Please. Thank you, Sandra. Nice to have you here. Not only are all the guys on campus smoking, so are all the girls. You we look love great. It. You look I great. love a good stogie when I'm sitting around with you, Dave. You, you look good. I feel super. You, uh... Lighting up a stogie and giving you a big fat kiss. <laughs> well, it's sexy. Cigar breath is hot. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, it's kind I... of a sexy yeah. What do you got there uh, by way of a dress? What exactly is that? This though? is a little something in, uh... Polyvinyl chloride. Oh, PVCs. I picked it up at a little store on Melrose in LA called English Eccentrics. They uh -huh. specialize in making haute couture out of toxic waste, and we love it. It's, <laughs> it's very nice. It's so, the up and coming what thing. What do you clean that with? Armor all? Oh, yeah. yeah. We buff it right up. <laughs> yeah. How do you get scuff Little marks fledge. off of that thing? Uh, You'd be surprised. How, uh, how are things in Hollywood? You just came in from California, I'm guessing. No, I've been on the road, but yeah, I mean, you know, I'm living in Hollywood. Yeah, well, how are, know all that. how are things in California? We have a, amazes me is America's obsession with small black boys that don't seem to grow up. You know, it started with Rodney Allen Rippey, mm -hmm. it continued with Gary Coleman, and now this Emmanuel Lewis thing. I find it fascinating. I mean, he may be short in some areas, but here he's plenty big in others, Dave. Woo! <laughs> Rumor has it. Where do you keep your... Oh, let me that's, show your uh, ashtray, awful. would you, that's honey? That's a, a horrible... It honey. is a horrible yeah, thing. Thank you very much. Honey, shmoney. <laughs> and you know, contrary to popular opinion, uh -huh. the busiest couple in Hollywood is not Sean Penn and Madonna. Is that right? It is my favorite couple. You can't even bend Shirley over Shirley Jones <laughs> and Marty Ingalls, too busy to even pose in the same no, picture together. This. Are they too much? Shirley Jones and Marty Ingalls. Remember Shirley and Marty? Do you believe that? That's superimposed. They pose at separate times because their schedules just will not permit them. To... <laughs> no, that's... Oh, I, think that, I think that's there together. I, no, no, look. If you look really closely, you'll uh -huh. see the... Look at the outline. Well, uh -huh. they can't see yeah, it, so we're cheating you? them the hell with it. Yeah, we're, we really are cheating the home viewers. We really are. Yeah. We didn't get to see the Marty Ingalls photo. Damn. Oh, God. Uh, all right. Is what, look, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm busy tomorrow. You know Shelley Long's new movie is opening, Outrageous Fortune, and I want to take you to see it. <laughs> okay, well, Shelley Long, your dear friend. Shelley Long and Bette Midler, maybe. Together, an Outrageous Fortune. Can't wait to see uh, it. So, uh, now, <laughs> now, where have you been working? You well, go to clubs, been, you travel all over the I'm, United States. Now, what happens when you go to a... Where was the last time you worked? I was just down in um, West Palm Beach. Now, what, what happens when you go into West Palm Beach? Now, that sounds like your kind of town. It is. Yeah. We laid around in the sun, and we got wrinkled and dried up, and it was fabulous. Mm -hmm. But before that, I um, did an international tour. Oh, is that right? One of the first Jewish comics to perform in Egypt. And I'll tell you, I turned the town inside out. Cairo went crazy. You were in Cairo working in a nightclub. Fabulous. I was a little bit nervous about the language barrier, but they seem to understand everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> Got a beautiful view of the pyramids from the uh, Cairo Hilton, and yeah. we just partied. And I want to, is my tape around? I wanted to play you a second of my performance. Is that around anywhere? I have a tape recorder right yeah. here. Just, now this yeah. is you on stage in... Me on stage in Cairo in front of about 200,000 people. Uh -huh. Play it. <laughs> kind it's of an small, intimate it's a small club. Thing. Uh -huh. Push so, the button and play. Well, it. now because of union regulations, I can't push the button. Oh, you can't either, right? I can't, I can't push Come on it. Out, no. uh, Bob Rooney here, one of our audio technicians, will. Look closer. Wait, 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 wait. The last joke is a killer. We threw in that one tune. They went crazy. <laughs> That's good. Thank you very much. Now, you know, Every minute was spine tingling. Did, did you find your uh, trip inspirational at all? Very. To get to the Holy Land? Oh, you know that. Mm -hmm. And since I've been back, I've been obsessed with watching religious television. Is that right? 
About two weeks ago, you know, Oral Roberts came on television, made a desperate plea to America to send them him four and a half million dollars or God would strike him dead. That's right. He needed four and a half million. That's right. Or it was lights out. Now, in the latest update, God came to me last night and said, I had to match it dollar for dollar mm -hmm. or they would still strike Oral Roberts dead. So I'm coming to you tonight. The home viewers, please send your pennies, your dollars, whatever you can. We don't want to see Oral Roberts dead by March. So let me let me get this straight. Not only does he need the four and a half million. For himself. But you have to have four I and a half million. also need the four it's and a half million. It's a matching fund kind of deal. It's a matching fund kind of thing. And the Lord spoke to you And the Lord this. spoke to me very quietly, very uh -huh. sexy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was shy and whispered. In my... You know, you're starting to blush a little bit up here. Just, just a little bit. I am, aren't I? Yeah, just it's a little... kind of that after sex glow. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had that? You got that rash after sex? I was supposed to have a rash on your hand earlier. Yeah, so. okay, now... Um... <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have to put a guard in the green room now. Let's see um, So what how about movies you mentioned uh, outrageous fortune anything else you it caught your fancy lately? Well, I thought platoon was a barrel of laughs really got a kick out of that That was a fun light little film Have you seen that? I saw platoon. So what'd you think? You think it's all it's cracked up to be? Well, I, I thought that it probably uh, from what I've read and what I've uh, uh -huh. been told yes. is mm -hmm. is a, a right. uh, mm -hmm. uh, an accurate or close to accurate representation of what what combat life was like in Vietnam. No, I was not. You were not. No. What were you doing during the Vietnam era, <sighs> Mr. Letterman? I was. I uh, was. Uh, Coward. No, it was. <laughs> I was I was ready to go. Were you ready to I was, go? I was ready to go, and then I got How a very... How fortunate that the war ended just as you were getting out It didn't out happen of like that. I had a very high... Remember the draft lottery? Yes. My birthday, yeah. uh, fortunately for me, came up very Which late. Which is very soon. 352. Really? Yeah. Well, so I, I guess you kind of got out by the skin of your well, teeth. And then, I'm you? quite fortunate that I didn't have to go. When yes. is your birthday? April? April 12th. That's right. Another... Um, Aries. That's right. First time around. Do you know that? I don't know what we're you're talking new, about. Well, the Aries is the first sign in the zodiac. Oh, is you're right? new, so everything you learn in life is the first time you've learned that. And you'll bring it back in your next life. Oh, I can hardly <laughs> wait. Uh, tomorrow night, in person at my father's place in Roslyn, Long Island. Roslyn, you know, before I run, uh -huh. I took the uh, liberty of signing you up on Mall Airways, Mall Airways. Frequent Flyer Program, right. Thank Dave. Thank you, Sandra. There it is, Mall Airways. Sandra Get Bernhardt, on board ladies and gentlemen. Your favorite Folks, you know, uh, when we ask the striking technicians what guests we should have on while they were away, uh, this next person was on the top of their list. <laughs> she is a, a talented actress and a comedian and will be hosting, hosting Friday Night Videos next week. That's on uh, After Us, After Us. Friday Night Videos comes on about three hours after we go off the air on Friday nights. The network signs off for a couple hours, they check the equipment, they come back on, and the first thing you see is Friday Night Videos, about 3.34 in the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, please uh, welcome uh, Sandra Bernhardt. Sandra. like somebody who might be described uh, uh, loosely as a rough trade. You know, like you might be working at a carnival outside of town somewhere. 
How you doing? I'm great. Friday Glad night videos. Back. Friday yes. night videos. It's you, the excitement. Be hosting the show. The Friday night videos. Now they they actually have a, it's a dance show and a, a video countdown party, right? There there is, is dancing. There a video? I don't know. It's a little dancing it. video countdown deal. As long as I'm there, it'll be a video countdown party. Do you know a lot about music? You know I do. <laughs> Based on I'm what? wearing a bustier tonight. You know. When I saw Madonna on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, she was wearing a bustier. But a bustier, and a bustier is show us is a this, this is this is what a bustier it's, is. It's a lingerie. So I was out with Madonna the other night after her concert, which blew me away. And Sandra. I said, I love that bustier. And she said, well, here, let me loan you a bustier for, the, for Letterman. The show was, you were, you were at the you, Madison Square Garden? Do you even know Madonna? Yes, I do know Madonna. And I know Sean Penn. And I've been with both of them at the same time. No, I do know them, but it's great. And the show is really cool. So anyways, when I put my new group together, my backup guys are called the Bustier Boys. Bustier. And they're really, really cool. Now, is, is Bustier, is a, excuse my ignorance here, is that it's a French, French, French word? French, and French. what does it mean, Bustier? It means to boost... Your yays, I guess. <laughs> Woo! I have my breasts made bigger. That's, you know, people wonder why haven't I been on the show lately, Well, Because, you know, as no you know, I had my wondering. breasts enlarged. <laughs> oh, come on. You saw their reaction. Can't you support me? Me. I am happy. I'm, Can't I'm you happy. you love me? I am very, very you happy. You know what? You drove, me, you drove me to my summer reading, which is well, unbelievable. That's good. You know, Valerie Prine was out here, uh, who, by the way, I doesn't really need a bustier. I know. Since the last time I've been in the show, I felt so, like, you know, destroyed by you. Here's some of the oh, books I've been Oh, stop saying that. Men who hate women, the women who love them. <laughs> women who love too much. When you keep wishing and hoping, he'll change. <laughs> Women men love, women men leave. Do you have a men copy? Men who can't love. Do you have a... How to love a difficult man. And this is for you, Dave. This is on my Christmas mailer. When smart people fail. Take it home. <laughs> read it. <laughs> Kidding you. Yeah, I know. You know you I love you. Uh, deeply. What, deeply and severely. What the. Uh, Harshly. Uh, with my bustier. Stop it. Stop it. You should have seen Madonna dance the other night. I know she is like one of the coolest dancers. She can dance for inspiration. I was like. <laughs> boom over me whenever possible. Reminds me of the night nice David gets up on a ladder and stands over me. I don't know. Uh-oh. Yeah-oh. Uh not... Yeah-oh. Uh not, not if you live to be a hundred. <laughs> You're lost. Um, it's not Come what on. I've heard. Okay, now... Um, so what have you been doing this summer? Going to uh, attending a lot of films, a lot of, a lot of blockbuster great motion pictures. Great movie out. out, The All Nighter, with Susanna Hoffs. Now this is Don't a great story because her mother directed her in it. Did you guys see The All Nighter? Oh, this is the the, uh, yeah. the girl from the uh, from the, the Bangles, Bangles right. right? So apparently her mother wanted her to do a lot of nudity in the film. Mm -hmm. and there was a lot of problems. Every time they cut, the mother would run over. Look, <laughs> you either spread those legs or you're off this film. <laughs> I don't mean maybe. Yeah. It was insane. I was there. I was watching the whole thing down. It was humiliating. You were on the set. Susanna. She's a brilliant talent. I dig Susanna. <laughs> she has one look that she gets on her face. The come hither look uh -huh. that I wish I could reenact yeah. every day. I wish my mother would direct me in a film. What other uh, films have you seen? What else? I've seen every. Well, you've seen Ishtar. We don't even need to talk. I saw Witches of Eastwick. Mm -hmm. How was that? Well, you know, it's like, you know, Jack Nicholson's fantasy. Mm -hmm. Looking like complete dog meat and having three beautiful women hanging all over him. You know what I mean? <laughs> this guy's got this big beard, 
Gully. He's got greasy hair and a ponytail. And Cher. Michelle Pfeiffer with herpes on her lips. Well, I'm sorry, with what? There's a scene. Michelle Pfeiffer had herpes on her lips. And they didn't try to cover it. It was insane. No, it must have been part of the story. They, they no. were probably prosthetic Yeah, they herpes. made it part of the whole story. Uh-huh. And Susan Sarandon, who starts out looking adorable, ends up like a complete whore, which is cool. <laughs> kind of like me tonight. And the bustier look. Oh, it's summer 87. Let it out, baby. <laughs> Now you just you the just kids bought it. Are you bought I it. I love the kids. You just uh, you just. What about my sister at Wimbledon, Steffi Graf? Did she blow you away or what? That kid sister of mine was super. Love you, Steffi. You bought a you bought a new house. Yeah, I bought a new house. Where'd you get a house? Well, I'd like to say London. I'd like to tell you that I bought Valerie Perrine's palatial oh, estate. <laughs> By the way, I don't mean to wreck Valerie, but I was at Gianni Versace buying men's cologne, and I saw her there shopping. So she does shop. Ago. Well, she was with somebody else. They may have been shopping. She had just gotten back from Europe. She was probably just ordering Did them just around. Say that all the time? <laughs> I just got back from Europe. What a great excuse for being insane and wacky. <laughs> Now she I, makes, ju I she just got back from North Carolina and I'm a basket case. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that concept? You know what I mean? She may still be in the building, so you might want to be careful what you say. No, saying. I love Valerie, and she was wearing a Chanel suit. And I'll tell you something: I haven't seen a Chanel suit in a long time. <laughs> Worn as well. <laughs> well, good. Now. Um... I like Valerie. I like Valerie. Uh -huh. Divine Perrine, she yeah. is the hottest. You know what? She warmed this seat up and it feels awfully good. Okay. That's all right. Um, but you, is there something we're sizzling, we're, we're cooking now. Is there baby. something? Yeah, I bought a house out in North no, Hollywood. No, no, wait a minute. Uh, where'd you buy it? North Hollywood. North Hollywood. Yeah. Nice community? Where only the, the very, very wealthy can afford to buy a house. <laughs> it's a nice suburb of Los you know Angeles. What? It's what I can afford exactly. right now. Exactly. I'm, I... I'm not going to try to fake it okay. with the audience, with you. You have to go now. You, you will be uh, hosting Friday night videos next week. Yes. Comes and on just before the sun comes up. We don't care about that. Yeah. We just care that I'm back with you. That's right. That's all we and care life, about. And life, give me your hand. We gotta go. One more time. We gotta go. I'm glad to be nice here. Nice to see you, Thank Sandra. You, Thank you for coming. Thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you, gentlemen. Very nicely done. Hammer! Uh, you'd expect a dog named Hammer to be a bowler, wouldn't you, Paul? No, uh, absolutely not. Uh, never thought that... Uh, what was that? <clears throat> never mind. Uh, our first guest uh, tonight... Excuse me. ...is a very funny and talented actress and comedian who regularly visits us here on the show. Early in 1988, she will be performing or performing a one-woman off-Broadway show called Without You, I'm Nothing, Folks. Please welcome back... Sandra Bernhardt. Tamajama Woods again. <laughs> It'll be the last time. I, oh, I shut come up. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Well, you know what? That. I didn't. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I was we... insulted. Hi. Hi, how are you? Thanks how for being you? here tonight. Did you see that dog bowling? The dog's name was Hammer. Hi. It was outside my door bowling for a half an hour. I almost went out and killed the damn <laughs> I went out and I bit it. Hammer. 
You're, yeah, you're pretty good with animals, Woo. as I recall. I got a German Shepherd, you know. Yeah, but what? Remember the monkey? Me. Oh, the monkey! Don't remind me that. <laughs> Monkey! Hey, the monkey! Uh, back two years ago, we had a, a, you on with a monkey with a camera. Hey, the it wasn't cam. that long ago. It was only about a, whenever. It you know was. what? You lose track of time. Yeah, you sure do. But and let's let's talk about. a little bit about it. The monkey actually bit you, didn't he? In more than one place. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and uh, we had a real thing going. And we, we had to take part of that out so people didn't want to. We didn't want yeah, to I, show I, you. Yeah, I remember that because they didn't want to. Well, you were suffering. The animal had you yes, by the. Yes, but I wanted the public to see that. No, I didn't we didn't want, want you to get that. off that easy. No, we didn't want them to see that. We never. No, it was too ugly and grotesque. But you're it you're here tonight. And be more beautiful than you're, ever. You're you're so <laughs> featuring a bandolero top. Whoa! Look out! Whoa. You're you're sylph like. I'm what? Sylph like. Sylph-like? Sylph-like? Is that a word? I don't think so, <laughs> It'll Dave. do. Uh, and, and you know, Raquel, wasn't Raquel supposed to be here tonight? I don't know. Raquel Well. It wasn't a matter of you or her, but I, I know that we had extended... Yeah, who else could fill in for Raquel? I had a very busy week doing my exercise video, my music video, doing a movie about a woman fighting for her right to die. <laughs> <laughs> what is... What is... A, Beautiful actresses' obsession with doing roles where they can be victimized and be ugly. I mean, if I was Farrah Fawcett, I'd be perfectly content to sit at home and stare in the mirror. <laughs> what, is she crazy? Well, I want I to think look ugly in this picture. I want to be real. They want to be taken seriously as, as actresses. I don't take them seriously when they yeah. do that. I believed her in Charlie's Angels. <laughs> <laughs> I fell for her and Jacqueline Smith yeah. and every other Charlie's Angels. Shelley Hack. What happened to Shelley Hack? I don't know. Where is she now? I, I don't know where she is. I don't either. Let's go look for her. Call her up. Now, You're on the phone. Would you, would you have been interested in a role on the Charlie's Angels? You better believe it, baby. Yeah. I'd be interested right now if they brought it back. Uh -huh. well, Charlie's was... bitches. <laughs> she's bad. She's beautiful. And she's cutting people. <laughs> Uh, let's, we have to do a uh, station identification here. It always happens. Well, no, we got plenty of time. We're coming back you, you for have six this... big, more long minutes. You... <laughs> We're Lisa. stretching it. Work it, baby. Work it. Stretch it. Lisa, Lisa. Anyway, we'll uh, we pause here back. for a station identification, and we'll be right back. Sandra Bernard yo, is yo, here, yo, and uh, yo, yo. how you doing? What about politics? Let's do my rap trip. Yo, hey. yo, yo, yo. What about politics? Do you have any interest in politics? Do you follow the political world? Well, I say, wouldn't it be great to have a celebrity government? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of what we have, isn't it? Yeah, it's similar, but I was thinking, since we've gone that far, why don't we go all the way? I've got some ideas. What about... Jotted down a few notes. I like to see that in a guest. You, don't you? Yeah. Well, I can't remember all this. I'm not that bright. Mm. Um, there's, after all, there's I'm a Raquel Welch. Well, um, oh, by the way, I want Raquel Welch in my government as the Secretary of Fun. <laughs> Wee! Yeah. Yeah. I started to kick and do yeah. a Vegas show and just be fun, damn it. <laughs> you have no friends, do you? Well, not at the business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joey Heatherton? Uh-huh. She would Secretary be... Secretary of the Interior. Secretary of the Interior. <laughs> Tully Savalas? I don't even understand oh, that. I don't even matter. get that. It doesn't matter. Do okay. you get anything? No, not much. Do I give anything? Do you give me anything? Does well... Matter? Tully Savalas, president. Because he... Tully can TCB. Did you see him on the, um... Titanic thing? The Titanic no, thing? No, I didn't was, see Oh, that. God, that was so good. Yeah. <laughs> Next to you, he smokes the meanest cigar oh, in the thank business, you very much. Dave. Uh -huh. You'll never Leslie work again. Leslie Ann Warren, <laughs> ambassador to the spiritual world. Uh-huh. All right. You would think Shirley MacLaine... I would have guessed Shirley MacLaine, yeah. Let's talk about that. If you were a spirit, who would you get in contact with? Uh, Shirley MacLaine or Leslie Ann Warren? Yeah. I think it speaks for itself. Okay. I guess so. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. Do you, do you have more cabinet members? No, or is that I it? just, that's it. The government's shrunk this year. How are things in uh, uh, Los Angeles? You still make your home there? Yes, I do. Yeah. But you know, Dave, 
Hollywood has lost its glamour. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I know, and we've been looking for it everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I say, you know, if this was the 30s or the 40s, somebody would have nicknamed me Red yeah. or Slim. Yeah. Here comes Slim Bernhard, high the mimosas. You know what she did last time she was over? Yeah. Oh, this is Louis B. Gave her that three-picture deal. She hasn't been the same. She's been out of control. Uh huh. But I'll tell you. What is it now? Here's here's what's her name? <laughs> <laughs> if they remember. Uh -huh. her yeah. Now I went to this party that Vanity Fair threw, or Vanity Unfair, uh -huh. as I've started to call it. <laughs> You're These so kids, hip. You're very. You know, very I'm beyond hip. hip. I transcend hip. Of course, unfortunately, unlike. Tama Jamowitz's interview hasn't thrown me a party, and I didn't go out with some guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Stop it. There was nothing no, wrong with her. No, there was something between the two of you that I, I have forged territory with you, David, and you have to remember that, and everybody out there knows it, and they will back me up. Mm -hmm. I came out here, and I laid my stuff on the line for you, mm -hmm. and I always do. I'm wide open, and mm -hmm. you never give me anything. If I kiss you, you're a dog. Mm -hmm. If I say something complimentary, you're a fool. Yeah. <laughs> and then Tama Jamowitz comes out here with the fricock to do <laughs> do and don't and you're all over her like cheap perfume and then you took her gum <laughs> it was it was it was it was trashy not that i haven't gone for the trash <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah oh yeah, yeah you're the epitome of decorum yeah There's no i am i'm taking this off in a minute so anyway oh. uh Good it's Lord. really well. It's really underwear, but I've gotten into wearing underwear outside because it seems to work for me. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Where so where we? were so we? So we went to this Vanity Fair party, oh, Vanity and Fair, I went yeah. with this guy who I really liked. And I get there, and they say, "Oh no, you can't sit together." I said, "What the hell do you mean we can't sit?" And so when in New York and Europe, they wouldn't even argue with you. You just mm -hmm. don't sit together when you bring a date. Well, next thing I know, he's leaving with Bianca Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't pleased. I have to no. tell you, I like this guy. Yeah. You know who's bugging me these days? Who's Suzanne that? Vega. <laughs> I think she's a little bit exploitative, right? This kid comes to her one day, she goes, Suzanne, my name's Luca. I live upstairs from you. <laughs> On the second floor, and my parents are beating me up, and I'm really scared. She goes, wait a minute, let me grab my pen. What did you say? <laughs> On the second floor. So anything uh, you want to leave us with before you depart? Just... all the hopes and wishes for a beautiful Christmas now that Thanksgiving is over. I appreciate that. Just not. Oh, you're, uh, you have your, your, your one woman off Broadway show. I'm an open fire. Uh, without you, I'm nothing. Will you be there? Yeah, oh, sure, I'll be there opening night. Jack Frost. Nice to see you. Sandra Bernhardt, ladies and gentlemen. This is a uh, very funny actress and comedian whose uh, very own one-woman show called uh, Without You, I'm Nothing will open on March 31st, probably be closed by Easter, at the Orpheum... <laughs> uh, at the Orpheum Theater here in New York. Folks, please tell, uh, say hello to uh, Sandra Bernhardt. Sandra... Let me ask you a question. Honey, talk you... about lips. You what are you doing a Velcro lip no, thing now? No. You've taken Velcro way too far, how, Dave. Uh, I couldn't get off of those lips. How's tonight. how's Woo! how's Poncho? <laughs> how's Poncho? <laughs> you look a little like the Cisco Poncho's kid. Poncho's just fine. Woo! <laughs> Poncho. Poncho's never been better. Yeah. Uh, We're riding high in April and shot down in May. Right. How, uh, tell the folks about your uh, one woman show. My one woman show, one woman Sandra show. Bernhardt is Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Bravo, we cheer. <laughs> Pauline Kale says, run, take a boat, a train, a plane. For God's sake, do not miss Sandra Bernhardt as Abraham Lincoln. Uh, is the audience was stunned and amazed mm -hmm. as she appeared as Mary Todd Lincoln's beaded bag in the second act. Uh -huh. Well, now, this is, this is at the, the Orpheum Theater. The Orpheum Theater, uh, this is yeah, like... where a little shop of horrors was running so for this, five years. So I know it's going to be a big smash hit. <laughs> Do you need to ask anything? 
but I mean, is, is, it, is it a Broadway theater? Is it an off-Broadway no, off off theater? Broadway theater. But nonetheless... Dave, you've lived in this town, you've taken this town by storm for six years, and you don't know your theater? <laughs> you know what broke my heart? The Chosen opened off-Broadway, uh -huh. and they closed it that night. Yeah. Now, what a great idea for a musical, The Chosen. Jam-packed with all kinds of possibilities. Mm -hmm. This town is so predictable. <laughs> well, well, good. Um, <laughs> how uh, how are things in uh, L.A.? Well, they're great. They're yeah. fabulous as always. You have a house got, out there? Yeah, well, we've talked about that house about 20 million times. You might as well come live with me at this point as much as we've talked about that house. Mm -hmm. So I've gotten very into the Zen Master Rama. I'm studying with him now. I don't know if you know Zen Master Rama. I've seen his ads. Well, I love him because... In fact, in fact I've seen him shopping up there at the Emporium. He transforms into so many different things. Like here, he transformed into a very, very tasteful lesbian, which I think is interesting. Wow. And then he transformed into some fuzzy dolls. Mm -hmm. He's so amazing. Have you, have you uh, studied I'm, with yeah, the... Oh, I'm under strict, you know... You can't say anything. I can't say anything about uh. Zen Master Roma that isn't just fabulous. <laughs> we party, party, party. Uh -huh. So the cows come home. Uh -huh. We love Zen Master uh, Roma. And, and has it improved your life, do you feel? Yes, greatly. Yeah. I have much more serene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm much more centered, my sexual needs are less, mm -hmm. and um, of course that's always a big problem with me, yeah, as you well, know, know, Dave, know. and you. Thank you very much. And you, and you, and you, and you, and <laughs> you! You little monster. What, uh, what, what do you like on television these days? Would you see uh, Corbett uh, Burnson? He was just oh, I about Do you like L.A. Law? Do you watch Cor that show? Corbett Burnson, I, I could barely get past him, uh -huh. I mean, you know. The bronzer, too, it's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> um, it was a good look. No, I like a man with some Aramis bronzer. It turns me on. Yeah. Matter of fact, I wish you'd slap a little well, on your I'm face sorry. once in a while. You're looking a little peaky. I've had the, had the food for about five years. You slap it anywhere, yeah. for that matter. Um. Um, you know what's interesting to me? Talking about television or you know, the commercials, you know, about all, there's a lot of urgent traveling commercials now where people are really trying to get home and they'll do anything to get there. American Express. Well, for one, sure. the guy, he's driving along, he sees an old couple on the side of the road, he reluctantly gets out and helps them. They're 80 years old, they've mm -hmm. got a flat tire. Oh, God, all right, I'll help you. <laughs> he gets out and he loses his wallet, he gets to the hotel, he goes to check in. Of course, he doesn't have his wallet or his American Express. So he calls American Express up and a very sexy woman answers and says, oh, what can I do to help you? Yeah. Um, I'll do anything. And included is complimentary phone sex after she gets well, checked I didn't, in. Didn't realize that. Membership we, does have its privileges. That's right. we, um, we have to do a commercial here. Then we're going back to the market. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the market one last time. And while we do so, let me thank my guests here, Robert McCoy, uh, also Corbin Burnson, and uh, you, Sandra. Good luck with your one-woman show. I hope you're in town for quite a long time. I hope you come, come and see, see us it, again David. tomorrow on the uh, program. David uh, Steinberg, actress Melanie Griffith, and Mayor Insurance Salesman Elvis <laughs> Impersonator. Good night, everybody. <laughs>
I didn't realize that. Canadian Hanukkah is exactly the same. Oh, it is the same. Well, that's American interesting. Hanukkah. I'm glad we took this time to chat because I had no idea that there would be a difference. Isn't that interesting? I, I learned a little something myself. Gosh almighty, as my mom would say. I saw mom last weekend, by the way. Were you with your mother? Yes. Were you up in uh, Indiana? I was over in Indiana. You were over... Uh, yeah, it's actually Western southwest of here a little and bit. And how is your mother? Oh, she's good. She, she retired. Say? She retired from her job. Recently? Yeah. Well, yeah. Last week. <laughs> Were you at, at... You went for her retirement party? Then? Went for a little dinner there, yeah. That's nice. Did you give her my regards? Uh, as a matter of fact, I did. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> my mother sends you her regards. I uh, your parents are very nice. They've always been very kind and charming to me. Yeah. And I <laughs> Wait a minute. Hal. Hal, I said if there was a lull. That, that, that was bristling good comedy. Uh, our next guest uh, is a, a talented writer and a performer. She has a, a hit off-Broadway show called Without You, I'm Nothing. And her, listen to this, her autobiography will be published at the end of this month, folks. Please welcome back Sandra Bernhard. <laughs> My last cry, I'm out the door, babe. There's all the fish in the sea. Okay. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Hey, will somebody please tell Samantha Fox that naughty girls also need a good dye job? How about it, Samantha? Well, you're hot tonight, baby. You're on. You're on. You're killing me. Hi, hi. Hi, hi how are you? Thanks. To you. Uh, let's, let's talk here a little bit about this uh, show. Let's this, uh, talk about it. Let's promote it. Let's plug it. Let's now, what, it, what is the deal? Now, you, this thing started around uh, in the... It Remember last time I was here and you started said it was going to close? I said it would be gone Easter. by April. Yeah. But it's still here and it's surprise, a... Surprise, surprise. Is it like a big hit now? It's a major hit. They're yeah. all common baby and they all love me. They're eating me up. No. <laughs> Where, where is it playing? At the Orpheum Theater. Mm. Now, is that downtown. a big theater? It's a major theater. Yeah. How many seats in this place? Oh, about 350. Really? Yeah. And, and you Packing do... Packing them in, you like do, sardines. Do you do a, a matinee? No, I do uh, midnight shows, late shows. Uh-huh, late shows. The hip crowd. And, and are you... <laughs> Only the hip people. Are you... Um... My reviews have come out. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you you can't... Clive Barnes described me as a butch Carly Simon. <laughs> of Carly is such an ingenue herself, a veritable will o' the wisp. See, now I don't know what any of that means. Oh, you do too. And then Walter Goodman from the New York Times came down. He was an older man, about 87. He sat down front like he was trapped in hell. Like he was thinking, so I can't wait till I go home and give myself an enema. I mean, the man was miserable. And then I know that feeling. I get, I know you do. I got a write-up in the Village Voice from a woman named Lori Stone, uh -huh. who had previously kissed my butt, okay, it was all up in my face. She more or less accused me of wanting to be more successful and famous than I already am. And you know what, David? I've been on the phone to my therapist for weeks. There's something wrong with me. What's I do want to be more successful, and I'm scared. No, you're doing a little... What did she want me to do? Go over to Show World and become a stripper? I mean, you, now look, this You did a little Mary Richards there, didn't, didn't you? Did you notice Yeah, that? a little bit of Mary, Mary Richards, yeah. Oh, <laughs> That they put out I don't know, there. but now... Uh, no, I want to play you a phone. But what's going to happen if you actually become a big deal? I already am. Where is it? What is it? On the chair next. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Easy to miss that. What am I going to do? A, a, a little Julie London number while I'm out here? Filter, flavor, pack, or box. Miss what? Julie London. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> the kids are so slow out here, aren't they? Woo! I've got spurs that jingle okay. jangle. Right, now, what you... I, told him that. I don't care. You know, I stripped on the show the other, the Robin Bird show. Nobody knows what that is. They know. Can you hold it? So, anyways, 
But no, nobody knows in the rest of the country what well, they're going to know. No, they're not going to know. They know. They don't care. They love me. <laughs> so All right, now you have your little devices out here. What's the deal? <laughs> no, forget it. No, I want to hear this. This well, is the woman from. All yeah, right, the let's woman hear. from the village voice. Okay, let's me hear. And left me a message at home after she gave me this. Now where's the microphone again? Listen. Hi, this is Lori Stone. Hi. I hope we can be friends. You can continue to trash me in your act, but I have a favor to ask you. My number is 263. Oh, it's your phone number. You know I love your work. Right. I love you. I hope we can be friends. I really do. There's something that I'm cooking up at The Voice that I'd like to talk to you about and see if you can become involved or even just have a chat about it. It's for the gay pride issue, which Richard Goldstein is putting together. He's asked me to do something to contribute to it. I wanted to talk to you about it. So okay, I, I think, think we may listen to you. Um, and I'm glad the show is working out. I really am. I'm uh, sure you are, yeah. bitch. <laughs> Well, that's me. nice. We bring on your little messages. Maybe next time, bring on your mail. Read us some of your mail. <laughs> Go through your checkbooks. Oh, by the way, thanks for letting me stay in your house while you're out of oh. town. I had a ball. <laughs> So, Senator Bernhardt is here. I think this is great that you're finally, because always before you'd come on and we'd talk about a lot of stuff and there wasn't really much going on, but now you've got your own show and people are going to Thank see you. it. And you're sort of now starting, starting to become... I'm just glad to be back in New York, baby. Yeah, yeah you enjoy this town, New don't York, you? New York. Mm -hmm. If you can make it here, you'll fail everywhere else. I don't get that. I don't understand that. Well, call Liza Minnelli. She knows everything. <laughs> I think Liza, hey, I think Liza's going to be on the show. What about new campaign? I don't want 60,000 pounds of concrete falling on me in the middle of the night. Why should you? Was, it, was that one of her hotels? <laughs> that was one of yeah, her hotels. Yeah. They can take a little money from that tax evasion and put it back into the hotel. Well, Harry? Yeah. Harry? Now, when you, uh, when you work at night, you're doing a midnight show that leaves your day free, doesn't it? What do you do? Do you, do you shop? Do you cook? Do you watch TV? Do you go out? What do you... All that and more. Yeah. I've been working out a lot. Right. Pumping iron. Yeah. Cookie little club called Better Bodies. Uh -huh. Better than ever. Uh-huh. Ooh. Touch. Touch, wild man. It looks... It looks like a Frank Perdue ad. Um... <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, let's, let's talk about... For the Yiddish kids in the crowd. Now, wait a minute. Let's, let's talk about you and uh, your new good friend, Madonna. Is there any truth to this nonsense? Mm, a hair. A tad. Do you know her? Have you ever even met her? Well, who is that in the pictures? Yeah, but that could have been you Frank running Gorshin? up to her I'm at the airport. <laughs> the guy pushes me right over the deep end every time. There you are again. That's, yeah, well, that's, that's right. This, it looks like she's... Uh, you, uh, okay. she's consoling you there. Well, it was a, a what, tender wherever. moment with me and Madonna. Yeah. So what do you... A, I love the, uh, it's all girls' night as Madonna leads terrible trio on late yeah. night Lulu's. Right, I see. So what do you, what, what do you do when you go out? We just party, get crazy. Now, what does that mean, you party and you get crazy? Oh, we throw back some tequila, we talk about old times, and we get to know each other a little better. What do you think you do with a girlfriend? <laughs> What do you do when you go out with your girlfriends? You know what? As a matter of fact, she happens to be here tonight. Madonna is here. Uh-huh. That's right. Well? Well, would you like to meet her? I don't know. Is it it's up to me? Yeah, I think it is up to you. Well, sure. Oh, gap tooth. <laughs> Thank you. 
No. No, you, what, it's, it's my, no. No, baby. Uh-uh, I came through with the goods. She's very territorial. Nice here. to meet you. Thank you very much for being here. That girl I hope you mean that. Right no, what do you mean? Of course I mean that. It's, it is nice to meet you. And Isn't it's nice she to... delightful and charming? Well, if you'd shut up, we'd find out. <laughs> You know, you know, it was uh, about a year ago. I was in Italy the same time you were in Italy. I have a great story about being in Italy done with you. You have a great story? Yeah, about you were you were working there and I was on vacation. It's a wonderful story. Maybe. Oh, so far I'm fascinated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm riveted to the story. Uh -huh. She hates it when people don't talk about her. Yeah. In front of her. Oh, go ahead. You don't have that problem much. I'm just kidding. Woo! Party! I love you, Sandra. Uh -huh. I love you, babe. Well, I can't believe you're d we, wearing I the same you, thing I'm wearing. Yeah. What I know. I can't imagine how it happened. But uh, <laughs> we, I tell you what, okay. can you hang around for a second because we have to do a commercial and then we'll be right back. And then You're we really can talk. pushing your luck. Oh, shut up. Girl. Then we can do whatever you want to do. Well, we'll uh, station our notification. <laughs> Welcome back to the uh, show. Monday, Steve Martin will be here, Bob Goldthwaite, and oh, uh, other folks. It sounds like a rerun to me. Oh. Uh, Madonna is here with her uh, new little friend, uh, Sandra Bernhardt. <laughs> <Little. laughs> uh, you know, you look great. You just look terrific. <clears throat> Thanks. Well, you're very welcome. And you're in the Speed the Plow, and is that fun to do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she hates it. <laughs> She's miserable. I am. I want out. <laughs> oh. What is it Stay you don't? Home. We're gonna trade. We're gonna trade. I'm gonna do her show. She's you gonna know do she's mine. Doing a, well, I'm putting together a stand-up act for her. Oh, is that right. right? Madonna in the big room at ballet. I'm gonna stand up and everyone's gonna laugh at me. They are gonna love uh, well, her. Uh, why, yes. do, why don't you like being in the play? I do. Well, you just, just said you didn't, though. I'm just effing with you. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> baby, baby. In that case, I let love me, you, baby. Let me I adjust love the chair. Yes. Uh, so anyway, you. <laughs> You were you were in Italy. I was in Italy. You were working, and everywhere no, I would go, again. you saw me. Yeah, pictures on, of me. Uh, not only pictures, but in restaurants they were shutting down so everybody could run out of the kitchen and watch you on television. No, isn't that amazing? Well, it was. I'd never seen anything quite like that. Mm-hmm. Yep, as it should be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen. So, how much longer are you going to be in the big play? Uh, um, <clears throat> rest of her life. Exactly. That's what it feels like. Um, <laughs> well, this is good, certainly good news for ticket holders, isn't Hi, it? Hi, Joe. Until the end of the summer. End of the summer. But yeah. it must be uh, an exciting experience in some regard, huh? Yeah, but let's not talk about the play. Okay, let's not. Let's talk about you two getting together mm -hmm. yeah. over my dead body. <laughs> I see something happening here, and I'm I not pleased. I want to talk pleased. about me and Sandra. <laughs> what, uh... <laughs> When, when, now, when you yeah, guys, rough, do, do you right actually here. do things together? You go out and you go to clubs and so forth? We corral. Now, what kind of, how, explain to me a typical night and could I be a part of this? Yeah. Could you? Like, like you one night if, you, if you're not feeling... <laughs> one night if you're not... Boom, boom, <laughs> putting that in the ass. So, thank you very much. Yes. And not a minute too us. soon. You can come with us. So... Take, now what happens? You go out. At what time do we leave? Wherever we leave from? When we're done with the show. We go out. All right. So what we time is that? We Ten o'clock. Okay. And, and then sometimes what Sometimes with Jennifer Gray. Sometimes mm -hmm. just the two of us. Yeah. You head right to Blimpies. Get a load of bombers. <laughs> right to Blimpies. Uh -huh. And then well, what do you, you do? Usually find us at the Canard Bar or at MK. En route to the Cubby Hole. Exactly. Yeah, and so, <laughs> and you just hang around all night and and do odd things. You're and a chill, girl. We do odd things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We do very odd. We are we are human oddities. We mm -hmm. hang out at the wax museum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when we're bored, we stand as two of the figures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Madame Tussaud is thrilled. We mm -hmm. split each other's split ends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd love to go on talking to you. You're a charming couple, but now it's time to play our game. So <laughs> <laughs> I think we. No, wait a second. <laughs> What, uh, what, what will you be doing after the, uh, the play closes? When you leave the play, it'll, it'll continue without you, right? When you leave? 
Yes, it will. Yeah. Isn't Brooke Shields taking your place? I think I very think enchanting and lovely, Miss Brooke Shields. I think she should. The sleepy Brooke Shields. I love Brooke Shields. Uh, well, she who doesn't? We. Too fast. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, really. Uh, Sandra. Yeah. I think we should just cut it right here. Oh, good. What? You know what? No, I'm sorry. I don't. What? You know what? No, tell me. Get you want me to? Get real with me. Do you want me to? Uh, go ahead. You, you brought it up. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Well, I think about. we have a little skip Excuse coming me, up here. Excuse me, David. Yeah, sure, right, go ahead. <laughs> you want me to come back? Oh, I'd love to have you come back. I think, I think it's time to fess up and get real. Honey, anytime you're ready, get real. Oh, I hate stuff like this. Um, I, just, I just hate stuff okay, like this. Okay, yes, I slept I, right. I slept Shut the up. door. <laughs> and he was it's horrible. Uh, you lied. Now, look. You are much better. <laughs> For me. She doesn't give a damn about me. Oh, right. Is that right. She loves Sean. Well, I can understand that. She's been using me. Just to get to Sean. To get to Sean. Well. I introduced her to Sean three years ago at Warren Beatty's house. Listen to this. At Warren Beatty's I swear. house. And she has been in love with him ever since. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. I'm no. not denying She doesn't it. care about me. Oh, no, well, that's, that's She's sad. been using me. Well. Our late night Lulu. <laughs> Listen, we, we, we're running a no, little short. No, wait a second. I'm running... telling you the truth. Okay. Stop and draw. I'm... I knew you could never... We, Excuse me. We have to... We... Wait a second. I knew she would never admit to it privately, so I'm taking this chance to humiliate her in front of thousands of people. Thousands of people. What do you think, Paul? Yes. No, and I mean, what do you think? Did you notice that they were dressed similarly? <laughs> Is that, uh, I have to watch the tape. Yeah. Gee, I didn't notice that. What would that be about? I don't know. Some, some girl some, thing or some something? Some kind of little bluebird uh, group they got together or something. I don't know. One of them's nuts. One of them is. One of them is. One of them's just one of them. goofy as the day is long. And the other, and the other. The sir? other one seemed like a pretty nice person. But the, but the goofy the one, we don't need the goofy one back here again. <laughs> to watch the tape and find out which one you mean. All right, I'll give her, I'll give her your home address and you can spend some time with her. <laughs> Go down and screw up her shit. Oh no, you won't. Get out of here. Oh, well, well. My next guest is... My next guest is one of the uh, great artists of uh, reggae music. <laughs> so anyway, have a nice weekend. We'll see you then. Next, Ron Howard and Sandra Bernard join Dave on Late Night with David Letterman. Sandra Bernhardt is here, uh, Ron Howard is here, and Jeff Healy is here. Our first guest has recently had her own one-woman show and appeared in a brand-new film. She has also published her autobiography, Confessions of a Pretty Lady. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the strange but apparently very wonderful Sandra Bernhardt. <laughs> Thank you.
You know, it seems to me like you're getting taller. You're, you're, you're almost as tall. You're taller I'm than I am. Of, now. I'm kind of a tall Marlo Thomas tonight. How tall a woman are you? I'm 5'10". Yeah. Well, that's that's nice, don't you think? Being a tall woman is, I think, something people don't. I don't know. Please don't do that. Got a little something in there. Well, I know, I know. Then I'll get it later Good if you don't mind. Good haircut, Dave. Well, thanks. New. Well, let's. I got a it. New coif. I got it about a week ago. <laughs> it's not new. This is the but way. Oh. You, you know what? Now that the hair is shorter, I'm noticing some hair on the ears. Yeah, you know. It should yeah. be trimmed down. I a noticed this bit. about two years ago. I'm starting to get hair in places I didn't used to have it. <laughs> Aren't we all, yeah. Dave? I have a guy come out to the house once a week and shave my back. It's pretty <laughs> embarrassing. I'll come out and wax it if you'd like. I love to wax. Do you really? Nice bikini wax. Mm -hmm. Just got back from my little vacation. How was your vacation? Oh, honey, it was fabulous. By the way, have you had this fireproofed? <laughs> yes. Good. Isn't that lovely? Good. Uh, where did you go on vacation? We went down to the Like a Virgin Islands. Mm. They weren't quite... Mm -hmm. Stay at the fabula fabulous Stauffer's Grand Hotel on the beach, so including a complimentary spinach souffle with each room. It was really uh, something remarkable. Sounds like a, t a tiny little resort getaway. It was, it was a little too big. Yeah, to like tiny a thousand room. rooms, conventions every day, casino yeah, gambling. Thomas. I wish it was casino gambling. You know, I love to gamble. Oh, I didn't know that Major about you. Major gambler. Yeah. Can't wait to get back to Vegas. Yeah. Uh, and you, you uh, were, were just down there for a couple of weeks resting? A couple of weeks? I don't know. I don't know. Honey, try four days. Oh, four days. I came back for you. Oh, thank you very much. They called. They now, why, why did you go down there? This doesn't really seem like the season to be going down there. Well, it's not, and that's why I went. Get a deal on the room I that way? I got a deal on the room. Yeah. And you paid for it. I don't yeah. know if you know it. Uh, uh, how's the book doing? The book is doing quite well. Yeah. Fabulous. How many has it sold? Is, um, is it like they on any? To, they went into second printing, so I guess it sold about um, 15,000 so well, far. Either that or the first printing was smeared. Remember that joke? <laughs> <laughs> first printing was blurred. Did you get blurred. my copy No, I didn't get a copy of it. I it sent says you here, a copy. Now explain this to me, Sandra. It says here on the uh, jacket, this book saved my life, Madonna. Now, what could you have written in this book that could have possibly made any difference to this woman's life? I think the fact that uh, we're two very sensitive girls from Michigan and that uh, we grew up in the 70s, you know, and there's a lot of stuff in there that she can relate to and that she needs and that she depends on. <laughs> if you would try reading the damn book. So it's, it's like a, a handbook. It's a... <laughs> that's, well, that's, well, that's very colorful. Very Isn't nice. It? Yeah, very colorful. <laughs> It's uh, yours. Did you, uh, did you watch the debates last night? Yes, I did. Yeah. It was fabulous, as you know. Um, all I can say is I really, really uh, respect Dukakis's family and his heritage. Mm -hmm. And um, that's why we've uh, brought out the Bernhard kids. And because uh, I would like to talk about my own heritage and get it out there as all right. well. All right. Do you have, you have a and big family? And then we traveled through Illinois with Crystal Gale and Loretta Lynn. <laughs> We got up, we sang a few songs, had some fun. I don't know what any of this means. You didn't see George Bush? Oh, well, yeah, but I don't know what you and Loretta Lynn uh, has any... We were all together with George Bush. Oh, I see, I see. You watched the debates last night? I kind of listened to them. You slept through them? No, I didn't, didn't exactly sleep through them. I listened to them in the radio. Who are you voting for? Uh, I think I'm going to vote for the Libertarian. Oh, right, me too. He's always, <laughs> really? he's always so exciting. Ron? Who is he this year? Ron Paul, is Yeah, that's right. Ron Paul. Yeah. We're very close. I'm doing a whole promotional tour for him. <laughs> With my book, Confessions of a Pretty Lady. All right. A commercial here. Great. We'll be right back. <laughs> Senator Bernhardt is here, Ron Howard is here, and uh, Jeff Healy is with Paul and the Band. So they're turning your uh, one-woman show into a film? We're hoping. Yeah. They better. And a show album as well. A show album as well. Now, yeah. you had one other album, didn't you? Yeah, didn't... it didn't do too well, yeah. remember? Well, Thanks to you. It bombed. I had, I had nothing to yeah, do with it. horrible, horrible promo for that album. You I know. Remember. I held it up and everything. Yes. Yeah. I love you anyways. Thank you very much. And I always will. So what, tell us, how will the... 
how will the film, how will the film of the one woman show be any different than well, the one? Well, we're gonna add some other elements to like, it. Like what? Um, it's gonna be a la reds with with witnesses, mm -hmm. you know, talking about my life mm -hmm. and describing me, creating a false mythology. Mm -hmm. Be a, a like a a ninety minute deal. Yeah, be a hours? ninety minute deal. Mm -hmm. You know. A major motion a picture. A major motion picture for yeah. release. Yeah. And uh, then the album will be out, so we're very happy about that. You know, me, I love the music scene. Oh, yeah. I'm into it yeah. in a big way. Of course you are. You know whose attitude is getting on my last nerve? <laughs> Terrence Trent Darby! <laughs> Do you know Terrence? No, I know him, yeah. I, I don't know what you're talking this about. This man love himself a little bit more? <laughs> no, he's obsessed with himself. He's like, he stands in front of the mirror and like, you know, makes love to himself. That's the feeling. And what about that fabulous new Robert Palmer video with those girls? I've never seen anything like it. It's so unusual. <laughs> Can maybe drag those tired bitches out one more time? <laughs> and talk about books. I don't know if you know this. They just paid LaToya Jackson a half a million dollars to write the definitive autobiography of her family. The brilliant, insightful words that only LaToya could muster up. <laughs> Originally, when Michael had his nose job, we were concerned. <laughs> no, I don't like the way that flows. Let me try it this way. Before Michael's nose job, he seemed calmer, more introspective. Yes, that's it. I like that much better. Why? Why LaToya? Why not Reby Jackson? Mm -hmm. Reby, the lost Jackson. What happened to Reby? I don't know. Reby. I didn't know there was a Reby. Didn't have any idea there was one. You know, you know who I feel so excited for, and I know you love her, Cher. Uh -huh. You know, I've gotten into a whole Rob Camaletti thing because I'm dating like a 15-year-old high school dropout. <laughs> um, he is so fun. Uh, it's just been a great year for her with the Academy Award and her new perfume, which I know you've probably smelled on her. Um, and then, of course, she's opening her own production company, Ices. Ooh, another bitter actress with a production deal <laughs> at a major studio. Just what we need. Sally Field, Cher, they all have them. Um, but nothing, nothing was quite as exciting as Cher being on the cover of Casting Call. What a coup. <laughs> David, when I saw this, I said, Cher really pulled it off this time. <laughs> Casting call, every actress's dream. Right. We love that, Cher. <laughs> well, good, good, good. Plans for the weekend? Um, <laughs> Cher. <laughs> Mm. Uh, and you're in track 29? Yes, I am. Is that a, a wide release across the country? I think it is now. Yeah. Wasn't Tracy Russell on the show? And, uh, yeah, she was a couple of weeks ago. Very nice woman. Terrific yeah, lady. Yeah. She's starring in the movie. That's what I understand. And she's very good. That's you didn't get a chance to show a clip of it because you uh, segued right into Friday Night Videos, which was exciting. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> uh, is there anything else? We have the book. We have the, uh, the album. We have the film. We have anything else we want to mention here? Uh, Oh, Dave, I don't know. Okay, I really enough. don't. That's I good. think that's more than okay. enough. All right. Uh, well, there was the gun. And Time to was, go. And there was your very, very warm attitude tonight, which was always much appreciated. Well, we'll be happy to talk Ench about that later. Enchanting is up. Talk about that later. Uh, we'll be right back. Thank mm -hmm. you.